Autumn with UC Camp Strike Group Fitness. Today I'm going to lead you on a arms blast. So again, first thing we're going to do is warm it up. So just start by tapping it out, bringing those arms across. Again, just again, this is going to be very arm focused. Good. All right, bring it forward and back. Again, still tapping it out. Good. All right, bring it forward, arm circle. Again, still just tapping it up. And back. Good, all right, we're gonna bring that up. Stretch over, bend that over to the left side of it. Get full in that stretch. Good, other side. All right, bring it behind your back, a little chest opener here, a little stretch. Good, all right, again, a couple front backs. Again, nice and loose, you know, forward and backs. All right, so how this is gonna work is we are going to do a ladder of exercises. So we're kind of gonna go uh, down a hill and then back up a hill. So we're gonna start all the exercises we will be doing for a total of 80 seconds each. So we are going to start with a 60 second interval, 50, 40, 30, and 20, and then we'll take a 30 second break and then start from the bottom and go all the way up. So our first exercise is grab medium to heavy weights here. I'm using two since I only have two light weights, and we are gonna do a bicep curl for 60 seconds. So you can either do bicep curls with your hands facing, elbows facing in, or hammer curls, palms facing in. I myself like hammer curls, so that's what I'm gonna do. But if you like a bicep curl, feel free to do that. So we've got that for 60 seconds. Again, you can always drop down to one arm at a time if you would like to, but just keep moving for that 60 seconds. Then we will do 50 seconds of a overhead press. So bring it in, overhead, and back down. Again, nice, strong, solid core the entire time. Then we are going to do a slight hinge over in that hip and bent over row. So we're gonna be pulling it in. Then I would drop down to a little bit of a lighter weight and we are going we are going to do a tricep kickback. So again, a little hinge over in that hip, kick it back and out. You can do two arms, or if you want to grab, if you have one big heavy weight, you can always do it overhead with both arms doing the, holding the one weight. Then last thing we are going to do is we're gonna get down on the ground and do a chest press. So bringing it down, and up, arms at 90 degrees, touching that floor, bring it back up. And then, once we finish that, we'll take a little break. We're gonna start back off with that bicep or hammer curl. Okay, so let's grab those weights. Let's start with this hammer curl or bicep curl. We're going in three, two, one, up and down. Again, you want a nice full range here on either that bicep curl or that hammer hammer curl. So you don't want to stop halfway. You want a nice full range here. Again, if we're stopping halfway, we're actually going to shorten our muscle head then, and you want don't want that. Good. Halfway into the 60 seconds. You know, this is the longest interval. We're gonna go down this hill in a second. Okay, you can always drop to one arm if you would like. Good. Almost there. Okay, you can always, if that's hurting your back, you can always move your legs to a split squat, or split squat, and that's going to help alleviate some of that pressure on your lower back. Three, two, one. Okay, quick shake out here. We're moving to that overhead press in three, two, one, up and over. 
Again, I'm gonna stand in that little split. Again, I'm gonna lower down so you can see my full range here. Again, nice full range, tapping it up at that top. 50 seconds on this interval. Again, if you want to take out your lower body and do it on your knees like I am right now, feel free, that's a little bit more of a challenge. You're definitely gonna feel it. Again, you can always drop to one arm too. Just keep moving. We got 15 seconds left. Again, keeping that back. Nice straight line, we're not curving, we're not going arching back. One nice line. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we got that bend over row, hinge over in that hip, nice straight back, pull it up. 40 seconds here. Really working on trying to pull right in that shoulder blade muscle here. Shoulder should be down and back, kind of like they were in a back pocket. Good, halfway. Again, keep breathing. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right, got that tricep. I'm gonna grab one heavy weight and go above my head. But you can do two if you would like. Again, we're really working on trying to isolate and hinge at that elbow. So your front of your arms shouldn't really move the top your arms really shouldn't move much. Great job. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. All right, quick transition down to that ground for chest press. Two, one, press it up. And back on the ground. Getting right to that 90 degree angle, pressing it up. This one's a short one. So we're done in five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we're gonna start back with that bicep curl. I'm gonna put my 30 second timer up right here. So again, we're gonna start with that bicep curl. All right. So we're gonna start back up with that bicep curl after 30 seconds rest. I'm gonna put a timer up here, grab some water, shake it out, meet you back in 30 seconds. All right, welcome back. So again, we're gonna start with that bicep curl. So it is only gonna be 20 seconds. So if you wanna go a little bit heavier for this round, feel free, grab your weight. So let's start my timer. We got bicep curl or hammer curl in five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Got a nice quick 20 second interval here. Nice full range of motion. We're done in five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we got that overhead press. We're going 30 seconds here, up and over. Again, watch that back, making sure we're not dipping or anything. You always drop down to one arm at a time. Great job. We got five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we've got that bent over row. Again, we'll hinge over and up. Same time as before, it's the middle exercise. So. 
and really pull in that back. Again, nice and intentional with all of these exercises. Great job. Keep breathing. Again, make sure we're not rounding that spine. Nice flat back here. We're done in five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we got that tricep kick back or overhead skull crusher. Well, let's go. This one's a long one, 50 seconds here. Again, you can always get to that little split there just to relieve that pressure off your lower back. That's why I like to do these. We're almost there, halfway here. Again, really working on kind of really trying to just hinge at that elbow. Again, that top of that arm really shouldn't move too much. It's gonna move a little, but not a lot. You can always change that grip too on that weight. We got five, four, three, two, plus one. All right, we got that chest press, 60 seconds here. Let's go. Up to 90 degrees. I'm hitting my weight here. Again, we're pressing that back into the ground. Breathe in for halfway. Okay, we're getting tired, so really focus on your form here. We got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, Last one. All right, I'm gonna start my 30 second timer. We're done, we're gonna cool it down. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.